this is Matt Haven Monterarity here. So you're looking at a bunch of stuff that I got today. Um, we'll get into it uh, in a brief minute here. I was checking out something in this month's uh, Model Railroader that's coming up in February, right? And uh, saw something that was kind of interesting. <clears throat> it's a uh, event that's going to come up soon. If I can get to it. Uh, scheduling events. Right here in Massachusetts, Auburn, Mass., at the Auburn Elks Club, there's a uh, train show that's going to be going on. And it'll be on Sunday, February 25th of 2024, 10 to 3. Admission is $6, children under 12 free. Um, <clears throat> here's the website right there. So I figured I might go to that if I can. Um, otherwise, it's the only thing that's going on. Uh, Saturday the 27th and today the 28th was the uh, Springfield train show so I missed that one but there's always next year um, figured to show what I got here at the flea market in the town I used to live in um, these believe it or not are all uh, Amtrak phase one uh, cars. You got an 85 foot AM, AM Fleet 1 Amtrak coach, and it's got number 21199. So let's take a look at this. These are kits that somebody built, and they're lighted, as you can see here and here. So let's see if they light up. I'm curious. So I got the power pack anyway. Let's turn up the power a good ways. Let's see if it lights up. If not, it's not a big deal. Could be that their contacts are dirty or whatever. And I don't see any lights. Eh, probably not. Let's see if I can get the light up the situation here let's see there and there nope guess not the contacts are there but uh, yeah they're not lighting up I wonder why brass wheels are over here they're quite dirty Last wheel over here, it's quite dirty as well. Or it could be nickel silver too, I don't know. Um, but anyways, I don't want to put my arm in the whole thing. <clears throat> so, yeah, I got these cars here. And they got the horn hook couplers, which I plan on trying to change them. So they got the KD style because that's really what I run I run a KD style coupler I don't run anything else try not to anyways um, here's another one that's taped shut I don't know why but it's another AM coach 21270 same thing it's lighted supposedly if you put it on the track, it should, in theory, light up. But it don't. I don't know why. I'm going to have to find out why now. <laughs> but it does have all the grab irons and everything on it that somebody built it. They took good care of building these. Go on eBay and they're quite expensive. And they're not even... They're built, but they're pre-built um, so let's take another look at another one here it's another AM fleet 220 2000 22 21 000, 0, 0, 0, 0, 21 or 21 yeah 21 000. it's beautiful it's all mint 
in its little box. These were nice kits back in the day. I don't know when they made them, but you can tell somebody had it where they got wet in the basement or something. That could be why they're not working. Here's another one, a food service car. And <clears throat> this one's got the, uh, the windows and everything. Possibly has to get redone. A couple of the grab irons there. If I can get it out of here. Come on. Come on. But yeah, I missed going to the train show this year. Um, I saw that uh, Sparky107107 was doing a live stream. And DB Tech was there. Um, Go Via or Go Home was there. Um, it would have been cool to meet all the guys there because, uh, you know, why not? But anyways, I got these four here. And then I got a Accurail Maintenance of Way Yellow car. It's a 40 footer. Box with steel ends, it says. So it's a wooden wooden type box car. It's got all the couplers, got the wheels, got all the good all the good stuff right in here. It's awesome. It's not built. I love building these things. I you know, if all the manufacturers had kits, again, Accurail is the only one that I know of that still has kits. We need to get these back because they're fun. You got most of the people want it where I guess they want them like ready to go. It's like yeah, well, that's great, but it kills the whole idea, you know. Here's an Atlas car. Look at this. It was marked at one time at the store, sixteen ninety five. Then it went down to twelve seventy five. Then it went down to eleven ninety nine. Well, I didn't pay nowhere near that. Evans double plug box car. Um. Looks to be in beautiful shape. I don't even think this thing's ever been out of the box. Um, it's got... Yeah, it's never been out of the box. The tape was never... Wow. Tape was never undone. Um, it's got Acumen couplers there. They're knockoffs of Katie's. Then they got the horn hooks there for spares. Awesome. Um... Yeah, I, uh, like I said, I wish I went to that train show in Springfield, but oh well, it's okay. I have more fun doing this stuff, you know, going to the flea market and everything. And then I got these cars here. They're Bangor and a Rustic Railroad. Um, up in the county, they call it. It's uh, uh, Fort Kent and um, Easton, Maine and all that stuff way up. Uh, is where you would see these, I guess. Bangor and Aroostook. Um, it looks like Aroostook, but it's not. It's Aroostook. This is a um, AHM car here. And then this one here, one of the guys was saying it was kind of a rarity to see one. Now, it is missing a step here. I can try to fix that myself. I think I got a car somewhere that's just junk parts. So maybe I can finagle something. You know the step you know step thing here and here it's missing. This is a um looks to me like it's a uh Athern type. No, actually this is this is something else. This is like a Walther's type car or roundhouse. And it says main potatoes on it. I have a plan to what to do with these. They'll become, uh, yeah, that's an it's Athern sprung trucks. It's gonna be uh, or Walters. It's gonna be part of uh, a friend of mine. I wanted to do something for him. Um, so all together, these cars here and the Amtrak ones. Would you believe that I paid only forty bucks for them? Yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy. These here are listed on eBay. They're going for at least a good hundred something dollars. It's like you gotta be kidding me, you know. So why not? 
take the good, you know, good stuff while you get a chance, right? Well, this here, um, as you can see, it says Goodwill. Uh, for those that don't know, if you're in Canada or other parts other than U.S., Goodwill is a thrift store. Um, basically, you got everything in there from, you know, utensils or whatever, you know, kitchen goods, computer, you know, computer-related stuff. But I've never seen these in person at a Goodwill. They do have an online auction site, but it's like the prices are going wicked crazy. But for eight bucks, I was like, you know what? I gotta get this. So here in this box is a Model Power 6711 Amtrak Plymouth Switcher. Um, looks like a Tyco, but it's not. As you can see from the can motor here. Also, uh, AHM had the same style, had the can, uh, the motor here, um, and then the gear piece. It is kind of dusty, as you can kind of see, but it looks to be clean, and it quite, you know, quite might uh, have a chance of running. Um, I don't see any broken parts missing. Uh, knuckle couplers are there. Oh, not knuckle couplers, the horn hooks. Headlight area is there. There's a red light here. And you can't really see it probably with this camera because I don't have a backlight for it. Um, doesn't come with one. I think it's a stupid design that didn't come with one. But anyways, there's a uh, resistor in there. For that LED, I bet that lights up. So, let's put it on the track here. And we'll see. Um, and not to spoil it, but this is another locomotive. It's a Bachman uh, Spectrum. Believe it or not, it is a Bachman Spectrum. Yes, I know it's missing one of the wheels. It's also missing a uh, truck cover. And one of the wires has got to get soldered back on the uh, contact. It has KD couplers that somebody installed. And... They're K these are KD number fives. You can tell because there's a brass spring thing in here. And they're okay, but the whisker ones work far better. Um, you don't have that brass spring that gets in the way. And of course, see how that's it's worn. So, But this is a Denver and Rio Grande. Um, 44 ton switcher, number 39. And it's got the little man in the top. For the engineer, nobody else, no cab detail. There is a PC board in here, and it makes me wonder, does it actually fire up? Or is there something else that's got up its sleeve, you know? So, let's take the little Amtrak switcher, we'll put it on the track, and we'll see how this little gem runs. Oh, it did move. Yeah, it's dirty. Okay. I'm going to turn this so I can see the headlight. Huh. That yeah, is quite dirty. And then let's flip the direction. Now, why is that light in the back red? No kidding. It lights up. Ha! Huh. That is so cool. Interesting. I'd never seen one of these. Well, there you go. That runs. Now, I'm going to try to see if I can just tap the wire here with the alligator clip and then do the other one. Oh no kidding. It it runs. Not very well. But 
it does run. The other motor doesn't even want to turn. Let's go the other direction. It does have directional lighting. You can see, it's not lit up there. But that motor is dead. Interesting. I wonder why. Well, that is going to be a good project to work on. I know I can get the parts, and uh, we're going to see if we can get a diagram. They'll take a look at it, how I can take it apart. Or maybe I can find something that has parts. I don't know. But anyways, I figured to give a little shout out to the guys that went to the train show. And uh, I hope they had a good day and had a good time. Um... Anyways, take care everyone, and this is uh, Matt New Haven Model Railroad here signing off, and uh, see you in the next one, and have a good day or night, and uh, take care. Later.